Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. We have lots of fun things to do together today. And I'm so happy you're here because it's always better to do things together. That reminds me of our big idea. It says, God's family is with me on my adventure with Jesus. Now, repeat after me. Ready? God's family is with me on my adventure with Jesus. Great job! The adventure with Jesus is an extra special type of adventure because it is our life with Jesus in it. It's an adventure because you get to do exciting things and amazing things with Jesus and for Jesus every day when you choose to follow Him. And one of the best part of the adventure is that we have other people to help us and be with us on the adventure. Even Jesus is with us on our adventure. Let's sing a song together about how Jesus is with us and helps us be brave on our adventure. This song is called Brave. It's all about how God's love makes us brave. We're gonna start by singing, No, I won't be afraid, for you are with me. Let's go. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me, you are right beside me every day, even when it feels like everything's going wrong, I can look up to you, God, and find my strength. All right, sing some O's.
singing and dancing. That song reminds us that God's love makes us brave and helps us go on an amazing adventure with Jesus. But He isn't the only one with us on our adventure. We have God's family on our adventure too. God's family is the people who love Jesus. Maybe your parents or other people in your family who love Jesus are a part of God's family. Or your friends who love Jesus and some people you know from church are in God's family. They can help you on an adventure with Jesus by answering your questions or help you make the right choices. God's family is the best! I know a story about God's family. We can find it in this book right here. Do you know what this is? That's right, it is the Bible. It's God's special book for us. It's a book that teaches us real stories about people and places from a long, long time ago. The story I want to show you from the Bible today is the story about the disciples. Those are the people who first followed Jesus. Let's see what they did together. Stories of the Bible. Jesus' disciples. These are Jesus' disciples. Hey. They were the 12 men who followed Jesus during his time on earth. Some were fishermen like Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Some were tax collectors like Matthew. Me? Yeah, you. Some were even brothers like Peter and Andrew, yep. or James and John. These 12 men saw Jesus do amazing things like calming storms, <laughs> turning water into wine, healing people from sickness, helping people who were blind see. Wow! Making people who couldn't walk, walk. And even raising people from the dead. Wahoo! They heard Jesus teach about God's love and tell stories that taught them and others about the kingdom of heaven. Hey, Jesus! Jesus would often turn to them and teach them what these stories meant. Of the 12 disciples, there were three that were closest to Jesus. Their names were Peter, hey. James, and John. Hey. These three got to see Jesus do miracles that others did not. They even got to see him transformed on a mountain and saw Jesus' face shine with the glory of God. The disciples were with Jesus before he was arrested and taken to the cross. On that night, one of the disciples named Judas betrayed Jesus by showing the men who came to arrest Jesus who he was. The other disciples were afraid when Jesus was taken and put to death on the cross. They hid and didn't know what to do until they heard that Jesus was alive. Hey For 40 days, Jesus appeared to the disciples. Jesus showed them and others that he was truly alive. He told his disciple Thomas that he could touch the marks from the cross on his hands and side, so he would know that it was really Jesus. Jesus promised his disciples that he would send them the Holy Spirit to be their helper. He told his disciples to go and make disciples of all nations. Then Jesus went to heaven. The disciples waited just as Jesus told them for the Holy Spirit to come. And the Holy Spirit did come and fill them with power. They went to teach the new disciples to obey all the commands Jesus had given them and baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Some wrote letters to the new churches to encourage them and teach them about God's commands. Some of the disciples like Matthew and John wrote down the stories of Jesus' time on earth so that all who read the words would believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. 
the disciples went on to tell the good news of Jesus wherever they went, and many of the people they shared with came to believe and follow Jesus. The disciples started the church. They were persecuted and treated badly because of their faith, but they never stopped preaching about Jesus. the 12 disciples were Jesus' closest friends who he loved. They helped each other and taught others about Jesus. And we can have friends who help us on our adventure with Jesus. When we have people in God's family with us on our adventure with Jesus, we can help each other learn about Jesus, make the right choices, share with each other, and help other people. Our friends in God's family can help us feel brave and help us feel like like we can go on our adventure with Jesus by saying good and nice things to us. That reminds me of this special verse in the Bible. But wait, it's covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop all of them so we can see our Bible verse? Let's pop some bubbles together. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight. That's it, all right, all right. Keep going, yay! We're almost there. We're at the pop. Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left. Okay, ready, go. One, two, three, keep going. That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble. Oh, too many bees. Ah. <laughs> pop them over here, pop them over there. Pop them on the ground and pop them in the air. Pop them everywhere, yay! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone. And look what you did. We can see the Bible verses now. Let's read it together. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1, 9. That Bible verse tells us that we don't have to be afraid because God is with us. And God's family is with us too. The people in God's family can also help us be brave on our adventure with Jesus. Let's sing that Bible verse song together right now. This is Joshua 1.9. Let's get ready to jump. Here we go. And we're going to say some hey. All right, that was pretty good. Let's see if you can be louder. You ready? All right, one more time as loud as you can say, hey. hey. Good job. Now let's sing, be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Sing that out again. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord. Do not be afraid or discouraged For the Lord For the Lord your God is with you Wherever you go Sing that out again Be strong and courageous Do not be afraid Do not be afraid or discouraged For the Lord your God is with you Wherever you go Alright, let's get jumping and say hey Jumping up, and let me hear you say, hey, here we go.
Great job, friends! I am so happy that God is with us wherever we go, and He gave us amazing people who love Him and love us, called God's family. They are all people who love God and follow Him, and they can help us on our adventure with Jesus. My friend Joey is in God's family, and he is going on an amazing adventure today. Do you want to check it out? Let's go visit the Scuppet Adventure Club and see what challenges he is trying today. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and watch this. I'm Joey, and I'm an adventurer in training. <laughs> yep, Joey is doing his adventure challenges so he can join the Scuppet Adventure Club. Today, Joey has a big adventure ahead of him. Oh yeah, I do. Hey, take a look at my map. Now, I have to complete all these challenges. For today's challenge, looks like I have to get in some type of ball. Wow, it's a Zorb! You can go inside there and roll from the starting line to the finish. Whoa, that sounds like a lot of fun, but I'm not sure I'm gonna roll through by myself. You'll have help. At the Scuppet Adventure Club, we are like a family. We can help you. Okay, well, that sounds amazing. And you know what? That kind of reminds me of our big idea today. What's the big idea? Well, God's family's with me on my adventure with Jesus. Even Jesus had a group of friends who were with him when he was doing amazing things on Earth. They were called the disciples. And when Jesus left, they kept doing amazing things together. And they helped each other in their adventures. The disciples did amazing things for Jesus. They told other people about Jesus, helped Jesus share his message, and saw him do miracles. Some even did miracles with God's power. Wow, that sounds so fun. And it sounds even more fun that they got to go on an amazing adventure with their friends. The adventure with Jesus is the best. But you said our big idea was about having God's family with us on our adventure. Who's in God's family? Yeah, well, that's a great question, Melly. And anyone who loves and follows Jesus is in God's family. Oh, so like my friends and leaders at church who follow Jesus? Yeah, and any family that you have who love and follow Jesus are in God's family too. Wow, I want to make even more friends who love Jesus and want to help me love Jesus too. That's great, Melly. And we can be friends with people in God's family. We can help each other learn about Jesus, make the right choices, share with each other, and help other people together. Oh, nice! That sounds like a great family. I love doing things like that with my friends. Well, me too. So, you said I was going to have some friends help me on my Zorb adventure, right? Yep. They are official Scuppet adventurers. They'll meet you at the starting line to complete your adventure. So, go ahead, Joey! Okay. I'm really excited. Thanks, Melly. I'm off! Whoa! Hey, you guys are scuppin' adventurers, cool! Yeah, we're here to help you with your challenge, Joey. Awesome, thank you! So get in the Zorb and let's go. Well, I don't know about that. I don't think I can do that. We'll be with you the whole time. We're gonna push you all the way to get you to the finish line. Okay, let's do this. Whoa, oh, this thing is pretty wild. Now it's time to start this race. Here we go in three, two, one, let's get moving! Whoa! It's a little scary in here. Whoa! <laughs> and you know what? The Scuppin' Adventurers, they're taking care of me. Whoa! We're going down! Whoa! Okay! We gotta get to the finish line! We're at the halfway point! Whoa! Keep it moving! Whoa! I see the finish line up ahead! Keep it moving! Whoa! Whoa! And we made it! Whoa, I got a little bit dizzy in there. Good job, Scuppin' Adventurers. I couldn't have done it without you. You did it, though, and now you're one step closer to being an official Scuppin' Adventurer. Yes! Thanks, guys. Now it's time to get back to headquarters. Let's go! Jesus is the best, and he loves you so much. Oh, wow! <laughs> that makes me so happy! Melly, Melly, I did it. I can't believe I made it. I'm still a little bit dizzy, but that was awesome. Oh, hey. Hi. Joey, this is my friend Rachel. She loves and follows Jesus. 
Nice! Well, that means that she's in God's family. Yes, I am. And we're talking about our big idea for today, that God's family is with us on our adventure with Jesus. <laughs> That's great! Well, I just finished my Zorb adventure, and I was so happy to have some friends there to help me. Isn't it great that we could go on adventures together? So, Melly, am I a Scuppet Adventure Club member yet? <laughs> Not quite yet, Joey. You still have some more challenges. Friends, come back next time to see what Joey's next challenge is. Hey, and until then, remember our big idea. God's, God's family is with me on my adventure with Jesus. with Jesus. Jesus loves you, and so do we. See you next time, adventures. Bye. Bye. Wow, all the Scuppets adventure helped roll Joey to the finish line? He couldn't do it all alone and he needed help from his friends to say kind words to him and roll him to the end. That was so cool! It reminded me of how we need help on our adventure with Jesus. We can't do it alone. It's always better to have friends and have help from people in God's family who love God and love us too. We we can help other people in God's family when we share and say nice things to them and pray for them. Those are the ways we show them that we are in God's family and we want to help them. Let's say a prayer right now to thank God for the people in His family. So put on your five fingers here and five fingers there and put them together for a prayer. Dear Jesus, Thank you for loving me and for making an amazing family full of people who love you. Please help me to know that your family is with me and wants to help me on my adventure. Amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I have so much fun with you. And don't forget to help a grown-up help you go to SaddlebackKids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about your adventure with Jesus. And we would love to see you at Saddleback Kids too. So check our campus locations and come visit us. Now let's say our big idea one more time. God's family is with me on my adventure with Jesus. Ready? One, two, three. God's family is with me on my adventure with Jesus. Great job! We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye!